For 2020, in the midst of all the chaos we've seen, Taylor Guitars has embraced the truth that the American Dream is still alive and well with their new line of American Dream acoustic guitars. We are going to tell you all about them, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos, as well as comment below. If you'd like to support the channel, make sure to visit our Teespring store for custom designed t-shirts like the one I'm wearing today, which is our historic storefront. And this historic storefront is in San Antonio, Texas, and Texas is hot in the summer in July. And this is how much we love you guys, just, you know, Peeling back the curtain, our air conditioning is not working right now and it's really, really hot. So we're going to deliver this to you in the least sweaty way possible. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So as I mentioned at the outset, this is about Taylor's American Dream series of guitars. Now, this is a new series that Taylor's come out with specifically in response to the coronavirus pandemic and the issues that we have all been facing this year in 2020. And it's an interesting name. It harkens back to kind of a truth that many of us want to subscribe to and cling on to here in the United States. It also harkens back to the beginnings of Taylor Guitar and, you know, kind of a, a, the truth of what many of us musicians love about the acoustic guitar and Americana and things like that. So let's get right to it. The name American Dream isn't simply about, you know, the, the strive to be able to create your own path in the United States, um, kind of the pick yourself up by your bootstraps type you know, mentality, it actually was also the name of Taylor Guitars before it was Taylor Guitars. So if you go back in time, you know, uh, in San Diego, in Southern California, there existed a shop of a bunch of kind of guitar builders led by Sam uh, Redding, Redding. Um, and Sam had kind of a, this loose setup where Builders could come in and they could have their own booths and they worked on their guitars and it was called the American Dream and they built guitars and sold them out of there. Uh, that's how Bob Taylor got his start. As really a young teenager, he was very gifted. And in fact, I invite you, if you're a fan of Taylor guitars or just guitars in general, to read a copy of his uh, kind of autobiography that he wrote that really talks about, about business and guitar building and how they got their start. Because it wasn't like someone handed them a million dollars and they started this company and flourished. There was a lot of grit work, kind of chopping wood and carrying water on a daily basis for Taylor Guitars to become what it is today. They started in 1974, but prior to that, Bob Taylor was working in the American Dream. And at some point, Sam decided that he was going to get out of this business and Bob and Kurt Listug and another partner purchased the company from him and they named it Taylor Guitars. Because, true story, Taylor, one, Bob was the primary builder, and two, it sounds like, it sounds more of an American built guitar than Listug does, which is Kurt's last name. So that's the name, or that's the story behind the name American Dream. So here we are in 2020. And one of the things that Bob has said is that, you know, for him, and I think for a lot of us, trying times can be a really good time for you to kind of refocus and stretch yourself and see what you're really capable of doing. It, it can create a lot of creativity in us as we try to figure out ways to respond to needs, situations, stress, what have you. And that's where these guitars came about. In the middle of this pandemic, when guitar dealers and guitar manufacturers and musicians all over the country are suffering from not being able to play gigs, not being to be open for business, or for manufacturers not even for a time being able to manufacture the things that they produce, it created a need to try to figure out a way to make something that was uniquely available for this time. And that's where these American Dream guitars came from. Now, there's six guitars in the lineup, and we'll talk about the specs, but a few things to note. They're all Grand Pacific body shapes. They're all made in the United States. They're all solid wood. Um, and they've all kind of taken a less is more approach in order to get you a US made 
all solid wood, streamlined, kind of only the things that are needed guitar um, that comes in starting at, I think, $13.99 or $12.99. Check our website, alamomusic.com. But there's varying prices depending upon if you're getting the stained top like I have here, with or without electronics, or the spruce top or the mahogany top, and we'll go through all of the specs. But I was reminded of something else as I was preparing for this video and looking at these guitars. One, I think this is a fantastic thing that Taylor has done, uh, both for dealers, for themselves, and for musicians alike, because it gives us an opportunity to get a really well-produced, stripped down, great sound and great playing Taylor guitar at an affordable price. Um, and it makes it available when, truth be told, there's a lot of manufacturers who still aren't open uh, able to produce or able to produce at the capacity needed to even reach their backlog of instruments that, that have been ordered. Um, so there's companies that we work with that it, it's going to be a struggle for the rest of the year to get instruments. And for some musicians who are needing a new guitar, you know, they, there's no way to get one from certain companies. So this is definitely fulfilling a need um, and producing a guitar at a good value, like I mentioned. But there's something else that it reminded me of. Martin, I'm gonna talk about Martin in a Taylor video. Martin, one of their most loved series of guitars is the 15 series. That's been produced in the US since the early 20th century. And many people have credited that all mahogany, stripped down, lowest priced 15 series for being the series that got Martin through the Great Depression. And I think there's something to that, that as Americans, really as musicians the world over, we are not going to stop playing in the midst of stress. And I'm not gonna say it's like you know the quartet playing as the Titanic sank. No one's sinking, but there's a lot going on. And for me at least, music is how I respond to stress. I don't hide from things and abandon music. I run to music. And so I think there's something powerful about having something available to play during this time. And it, I think it speaks to what we saw with Martin back in the Great Depression with the 15 series, something that is well-produced, um, that is kind of a stripped, streamlined version that is affordable, is a powerful thing for musicians. And that's why, to this day, that series continues to be popular. And I just see a lot of those hallmarks in this series from Taylor. So I'll stop talking and waxing poetic. Let's talk about the guitars. So the one I have here, is the AD17E BLK. So it's got a black stained top on it. On the AD17s, the back and sides are Ovencol, which if you're not familiar was used on the 400 series, has been for years, and it's a lot like Rosewood. It's got a lot of deep bass, just like Rosewood, and a lot of treble like Rosewood. It just doesn't have that scooped out mid-range, so it's really a broad, great sounding, rich, tone with, with a lot of nice overtones. It's paired with a solid spruce top. So solid top, solid back and sides, V-class bracing. Interestingly enough, the bridge and the fingerboard are not ebony on this guitar. They're eucalyptus, which is, smells good in your shower. You just hang it in your shower and it gives you some, I'm kidding, don't hang your guitar in the shower. But it, it really kind of has the appearance of ebony and I've never played eucalyptus before. But if I hadn't read the specs or been told by Taylor that was eucalyptus, I wouldn't really have known. But there you go. Um, mahogany neck on this still. It's got Taylor's you know, ES2 pickup system. All of that is the same. The hardware is the same. The V-class bracing is the same. Here's some places where um, it's more streamlined. The finish is a very thin satin finish. It's 0 0.02 mils thick, or I should say thin, because that is incredibly thin, which allows the guitar to be very resonant, okay? Um, there is no binding on these models. This is another way that they are kind of streamlined, right? What they've done instead is actually kind of ingenious. They've stained the edges, and they've put in purfling. In fact, let me grab the natural top version of this guitar so you can see what I'm talking about. This looks like it's got dark color binding, and this looks like it's got light color binding. Well, this is stained, and they just basically left the edge exposed to give that look of binding. And on this guitar, they've stained the edge of the spruce, but there's no actual binding there. And then there's a small strip of purfling to create that division visually so that it looks like it's bound. The uh, edges are also chamfered, like we've seen 
in the Builder's Edition versions of the Grand Pacific guitar. So that basically just means that the edges have been rounded off so that it's very, very comfortable um, to play and to have your arm going across. So spruce top versions, and then there's also the mahogany version. I'm gonna grab that real quick. All the specs are the same on this one as well, except for the tone wood. So on this, it's a mahogany top over sapele back and sides for the body. And the mahogany neck is stained on this one to match the uh, stain that's being used on the finish for the guitar here. A simple three ring rosette on the guitars sets it off with its minimalistic appearance along with dot and lay, what have you. So overall, what you can expect from these guitars is, is kind of what we've heard from uh, Taylor's Grand Pacific body. It's a very round note. It's reminiscent of vintage guitars from the past. Um, the mahogany top one is going to really focus that and give you this round, uh, increased roundness to the sound. It's compressing the sound, and so you're going to get a lot of um, kind of thickness and warmth as you play it. Whereas the spruce top versions are gonna give you more articulation and a lot of overtones from the combination of spruce and ovencle. So, like I said, these are, there's six models. We're looking at the uh, acoustic electric versions, but we have information for all of these on our website. We're gonna go through each one so that you can hear the differences. Check it out.
So there you have it, Taylor's 2020 American Dream Series. As I said at the outset, these are affordable, US-made Taylor guitar options in the Grand Pacific round shoulder dreadnought body shape that's designed specifically for this year to answer the need. And that's in the midst of all of the chaos and all the stress and all the struggles, we still have music and Taylor's going to make it available to us at a lower price point. Each one of these guitars also, by the way, comes with a case. It's Taylor's new Aero case, which we're a huge fan of. We talked about that in the new 200 plus series video. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to it right there. So make sure you check that out. If you'd like information on this AD27E or any of the other models like the AD17 or the AD17E Black that we looked at, visit our websites, alamomusic.com. We'll have specs there. You can chat live with one of our associates and get help finding the right guitar to suit your needs. Now these guitars are going to be difficult somewhat to get a hold of at any particular time throughout the year. So make sure that if you don't see it on our website, you message us um, because they will be available for pre-order um, and then they will be going up as soon as they come in. But once they sell, there's a little bit of a lag. So we're here to communicate with you and basically help you find whatever you need. Because at the end of the day, the best guitar in the world whether there's a pandemic or not, is the one that you're making music on, and I hope you continue to do so. So keep coming back to this channel. We'll keep making videos for you, and I'll see you next time.